Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to set up one of our managed cloud servers. These are used mostly by people that really need a lot of performance. You want dedicated performance for your website, for your media buy, um, for any of your campaigns. We offer two basic solutions. One is in the United States and the other one's in Europe. So this depends on where the most of your traffic is coming from. If the majority of your traffic is coming from the United States, Mexico, Canada, then you want to choose our United States data center. Now if most of your traffic is coming from Germany, Spain, um, Italy, and the, and the, in Europe, then you want to choose the European data center. Um, this allows for minimal lag time, and especially with mobile traffic getting so popular, and a lot of the mobile networks out there, especially internationally, not having the LTE functionality that we have here in the United States, it's very important because you'll notice you pick up an extra 10, 20 percent of your traffic because your site's able to load a lot quicker or campaign. Now the good thing here at Name Hero is you don't have to know anything about SSH or server management. We do all that for you. Now I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to place your order, to set up your server, and if you want to add anything else then our um, level 3 support team is standing by waiting to help you get set up. So for this demonstration I'm going to set up the 4 gigabyte SSD. Now the cool thing about using the cloud is once you grow out of this solution you can scale upwards in real time. And the same, you can scale downward in real time. So you can start here at the four gigabyte and you get popular, you can go to your eight, so you can go to 16 or 32. You know, maybe you're gonna run traffic on Black Friday to a campaign. Well, the four gigabyte might not hold your traffic. So you might wanna scale up here just for the day. Um, we can work out solutions like that for you. So that's the power of the cloud. Um, but let's go ahead and deploy one of these servers so I can just show you how quick and easy this is. Okay, on this screen here, it's going to um, just show you a summary of the server. Um, so we're going to start out here. We need to enter the host name for the server. Now this is just what you call the server, and this lives on your domain. So you can see our example is servername.yourdomain.com. So we're just going to test it here, and we're going to call it server1.namehero.org. Um, root password, you want to make this very, very strong. If you have a password generator on your computer, you can use that, or you can just Google password generator. Um, but I'm going to make it very, very, very strong using special characters, numbers, capitals. Um, anyone with that password can have access to all your campaigns, to all your servers, so you want to make sure it's very, very, very tough to guess. Next is name server prefix. This is standard. Um, I just enter NS1 and NS2. There's no need to overcomplicate that. That's just default, so just enter those. Next, you can select how many IP addresses you need. Typically, you're only going to need two, um, and that's so you can have your private name servers set up and, and all that good stuff. Um, if you want to have one for each site, you can do that. Um, we allow up to eight off initial order. If you need any more than that, then you'll, you'll have to get in contact with us, and we'll just have to... Um, you know, to go over some compliance stuff with you. Um, obviously, our IPs cannot be used to send bulk email. So if you plan on doing that, please um, don't do that because <laughs> it's not allowed and we'll shut you down. Um, anyways, now you can go to bandwidth. You're not going to run out of five terabytes of bandwidth each month. Um, you might, but you're probably not going to. Um, unless you're running a high um, streaming video website, then you're not going to touch that. Um, personally, I've ran um, over 250,000 visitors a day to a... Um, website that had a lot of videos and that did use about 10 terabytes but that's 250,000 weeks a day to a high volume video site so most likely you know you're not going to be doing that so just select that the, the default is going to be good next um, is our backup plan I do suggest getting this now you can back up on your server and that comes included with the, the package but this is actually off-site backups and what we do is every night we take a complete backup of your server automatically for you you don't have to do anything and we store that um, in an off-site location so let's just say that the data center melts down it's highly unlikely but if it does I've got we've got backups of your site and so what you can do is select how many days you want to retain that data um, two days maximum normally is good you know, uh, maybe one day, but just in case you make a mistake, two days is always good. Okay, next we offer a couple Lightspeed web server licenses as well as Maria database. Let's talk about Lightspeed really quick. Um, if you're going to be sending a lot of traffic to your server, um, Lightspeed is a drop-in replacement for the Apache web server. 
and it's um, actually about nine times faster is what they market it as. Now this isn't a name hero cost, this is actually a light speed cost. Um, we're going to install and set it up for you, but light speed actually charges and you can go to their website and you can look at their prices and you can see that you know we're charging the same they would charge you. And if you have your own light speed, if you want to buy it from them and have us set it up, that's perfectly okay. But if you want to have us do it for you, um, you know, that's kind of how we recommend doing it because it just allows us to collaborate with them and have your have it installed immediately. Um, but basically, you can choose the how many cores in your server that you want to use. Um, traditionally, I like to recommend the four cores for light speed, and and that gives your server a, a lot of room. Um, so, but the more cores, the better performance it's going to be. But normally, this four cores works very good with any of our other solutions. Um, the two cores can get a little laggy, so I just recommend if you want to go with light speed, go with the four core. Now, for this example, I'm not going to select it um, because I'm just going to set up a basic server with Apache. Um, and you can always add it later. You don't have to do it right now. And this is an ongoing monthly fee um, with your server because light speed, that's what they charge us. Maria database, this is a drop-in replacement for MySQL, and um, so it means it follows the same setup as MySQL. You don't have to change or alter any of your scripts. It's, everything's going to work the same as it with MySQL, but Maria performs better, and what we're seeing now is Maria is actually starting to replace MySQL in a lot of instances. So we do this for you, and this is just a one-time setup fee um, that our engineers get in, and, and they can replace MySQL as soon as you build your server. It um, doesn't take long. So if you want to do that, you can add that here, and we'll do that within normally within the hour if it's um, during the nine to five working hours um, if it's after that you know we normally get to that very first thing uh, but again I'm not going to select it here if you have any questions you can always reach out to us okay but I'm gonna go ahead and continue the order here so we can build this get the server built okay so basically we just want to review everything make sure everything looks good um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video for a second while I complete um, my checkout and then we'll go on to configure it Okay, once you finish up uh, your payment and stuff, you're going to be sent to our main client area. And this is what it looks like here. And just as a quick overview, you're going to see you manage everything from these controls here. So your hostings you manage here. Um, we sell domains. We have great prices on domains. You manage all them here. If you have any tickets or problems, you go here. And your invoices are here. We have some quick links and stuff. You can see our news and stuff that's going on around here at Name Hero, as well as some shortcuts. Um, here's where you can add an extra contact to your account. Say you have a C CTO or a CFO that needs access to the invoices, you can add, add them a sub account there so you don't have to share your login. Okay, so we're going to click here, and this is going to show all the active servers that we have live. And now this is the one we just built. Now it does take about 10, sometimes 15 minutes for it just to deploy and go online and assign your IP addresses and all that which we can scroll down here and we can see um, everything about the server. You can see we've got, we can shut it down or start it, we can reboot it, we can access our web host manager, which we're going to in just a second, we can access cPanel and we can view a history and our backups are going to be here as well. Now there's no backups right now because we just built the server, but if we need to restore a backup it will be found right there. You can scroll down here and you can kind of see all your um, your usage and, and everything and, and this is in real time. Um, so as it starts to populate, it takes a couple hours and then, then you can see that information there. So what I like to do is click on login details and this is going to be that root password that you um, set up in the first step. Now keep this secure and don't share your login. Now we're going to use the username root. We're not going to use this, ser this server NA right now, okay? We're just going to use this password and this is what's going to get us into Webhost Manager. So we're going to click it. Okay, now we're going to get a security error because we don't have an SSL certificate installed on the IP address yet. Now, it's secure since this is your server, um, so we can go ahead and proceed. Now, if you want to install an SSL certificate, just let us know, and um, it's about 12 bucks a year uh, for an SSL certificate, and we can install that, and I'll get rid of that warning for you. Um, but it is secure since it's your server. So we're going to go ahead and enter root as the username, and the password is that password we set up when we built the server. We're going to click log in. Okay, as soon as we log in here, there's just a quick agreement we have to agree to. You can read through that, and I think it even lets you print it not right there. But you can print it out if you need to, but it's a pretty standard agreement, just so you're not going to do anything bad with um, the Web Host Manager software. 
Okay, and you can look through here. These are just some recommended applications that come with Webhost Manager, and these help keep your server more secure and safe. And so we, these, are the ones that we recommend are already enabled, so you can just click Save Settings. Uh, Mod Security is a big one. That helps people from um, not being able to do any injections on your site, uh, so we definitely recommend that. Okay, so once that, we're set up. So the first thing we need to do is we just need to make sure that our name servers have IP addresses. So basically, we're going to click um, Basic cPanel and Webhost Manager Setup. We're going to scroll. Well, the first thing, we want to add our email address. So we want to add like contact at namehero.com or an email address that um, you're going to be able to get notifications from the server. So add, go ahead and add those in there while you're configuring your name servers really quick. So you can see NS1 and NS2 are the name servers that we defined and set up when we built the server. All we have to do is assign them an IP address. Okay, so the main one's assigned here. Okay, so we're going to click close. And actually, what we want to do is copy this down just in case. And we want to add an A entry for this name server. Okay, so we just want to verify that it's the same one, and it is. So we're just going to click add the entry. Just takes a second. Okay. Now we're going to assign the NS2 an IP address. It's going to give it this IP here. And we're going to add an A entry for this name server. Okay. It's on there. We're just going to add it. Okay. So now this, just make sure your name servers are all set. Okay. Now the final step to this is you need to go to your domain registrar and register your name servers. So if you register with us here at Name Hero, you can just open a ticket and say, hey guys, register my name servers, set up my name servers, even what I'm walking you through right now. You don't have to do this. We will do it for you free of charge. Just shoot us a ticket and say, hey guys, set up my name servers for me and we'll do it. Um, but if you did not register your name with us, say you registered your name at GoDaddy or, or um, you know, domain.com, you need to go to them and say, hey guys, I need to register my name servers. And the IP addresses and everything were displayed here. And they'll make sure that you get through that. And that's just a technicality. So we're going to save changes, okay? So we're all set here now to start adding accounts. So what I like to do is I like to just type in create. Okay, and so we can go ahead and create us an account for our domain. So we use the, a test domain, namehero.org. So we're just going to type that in. Um, and we can keep that as a username. Password, I like to use a generator here and make sure you save this. But um, once you copy that down, you can use it. Um, you can put your contact details in here. Okay, now you can create a package. Um, you can do that right here, add a package. And basically it just defines all the variables that you want to use to set up your site. Or you can select them manually. So I just click select manually. And we can just go ahead and give it unlimited web space and limited bandwidth. And it's just going to go off our resources from the server. So remember, we have 5,000 gigabyte, gigabytes of bandwidth a month. So we can assign it. I just assign it unlimited. And if you approach it, we'll talk about it at that point. Okay, so we just leave all this pretty much unlimited. Go down. If you want to give this domain a dedicated IP, you have one dedicated that came with the package. Now, if you added more, you're going to have more. But you can do that here, and you can let it auto-assign it. And that just gives it a dedicated IP address. Now, I do recommend turning this off. I don't like to give out shell access to any sub accounts. You only want to keep that on root, okay? And I'm going to walk you through one more thing before we turn this video off with shell. Okay, so we're going to scroll down and we can make it a reseller if we want to. But we're just going to leave all this stuff default, okay? So we'll click create. And it just takes a second. And now we're all set. Namehero.org is set up. It's got its own managed server. So now all we got to do is go into our domain registrar and change the name servers to ns1 and ns2.namehero.org. As soon as we do that, we let the DNS propagate. It takes about an hour in the United States. For you out of the United States, it may take up to 24 hours, but then you're ready to go. So an area that's going to look more familiar to most of you is cPanel. So if we click list accounts, you can see namehero.org is here, and you can click on the cPanel icon. And this is a management that most of you are all very familiar with. Um, you've got everything in here that you need to start um, working on your site. You can upload your files here. You can work on your databases here. Um, you can scroll down to the bottom here. If you want to use the one-click installer um, to install something like WordPress, it's right here, and it's super super easy to install. All you have to do is just click on it and go through a couple quick steps and you can have WordPress live on your site um, without having to download or, or use an FTP program. Um, and that's the same thing for the Revive ad server, which is really popular. Um, you don't have to worry about knowing how to install that or anything like that. If you want the Revive ad server in the cloud, bam, just click here and install it. 
Um, and I believe Prosper 202 is another popular ad server out there. Um, you can install it as well right here. You just click install straight from here and you don't have to worry about anything else that the server will build it for you automatically. Okay, so finally, the last thing that I ask, that I recommend doing, and again, we can do this for you if it, if it um, challenges you, is go to SSH password auth authorization tweak, and we disable this. Okay, that just lets no one can SSH into your machine with that off. Okay, and if you want to, if you want to SSH, SSH in, you can turn it on while you do that, or you can add your own key from your computer. Now, if you don't know what you're doing there, don't worry about it. We can do it all for you. Um, but I, I do recommend to turn that off. Now, if anything in this setup confuses you, if you have any questions, if you don't quite understand something, we'll do it all for you. Just shoot us a ticket and let us know. It takes us, um, and we respond very, very quickly to these things, and we can do it. But if you're impatient and want to get up and running, that's how easy it is. Feel free to watch this video over to let us know if you have any questions or concerns. Um, you can also access your cPanel from here using your username and password you created for that domain. Manage your backups or anything else in here. So that's going to pretty much do it, but that's how simple, quick, and easy it is to get set up in the cloud. Thanks so much for watching, and welcome to NameHero.com.